Hey there, Captain Giddies. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this particular video, I'd like to discuss my thoughts on episode 4 of the anime series, Galilei Donna. And this was quite an enjoyable episode once again, quite a beautiful episode, I have to say, that left me somewhat misty-eyed and smiling by the end, as the character turned for Kazuki, the middle sister of the three Ferrari sisters, was just beautiful by the end. Now, of course, we're still following them as they're heading out to Germany this time, out of park in Germany, to be more specific, which they hope to find the next in the line of scale sketches as left behind by Galileo Galilee within, and of course hoping to lead ultimately to whatever it is that is called Galileo's inheritance that everyone is so desperately seeking. Of course, they first meet and encounter this homeless man by the name of Herman Hans, who is this prolific creator of this mecca called the Micro Doctor, which was an answer to a disease that his daughter unfortunately passed away from before he could complete the device. And you have Hozuki, the, the, of course, the youngest sister, the inventive sister, just wowed by this man and this man's creation. They end up giving him food and, uh, you know, are having a conversation with him. And Kazuki he really feels like you know, a fish out of water once again. She's still very much holding on to this feeling of not wanting to be here with her sisters, not wanting to be on the run, not wanting... She just wants to go home, essentially, and she's really near the breaking point, as I said in my previous episode review, where she was much more uh, on edge. And, of course, you essentially have them decide to divvy up uh, the situation. You have the eldest and youngest sisters, respectively, going out shopping to restock. It seems that Anna Hendricks has a sponsor or some such, a very mysterious, you know, uh, wealth that we see little hints here and there in this episode that maybe there's more going on with her, which was one of my earliest speculations when she insinuated herself upon this crew on board the Galileo, the goldfish mecha ship they're all flying around in. And of course you see her, you know, hanging up with someone on the phone saying, I know. She starts snooping around under pillows and things like that as seen through the eyes of the Grande Rosso, the AI goldfish that is kind of the brain center of this flying mecha ship. So it's like, what is her deal exactly? Now, of course, while the eldest and youngest sisters, Hozuki and Hazuki respectively, are out shopping, they come under attack from two of the Black Ganymede, the Sky Pirate Faction's guys. And when they try to make their escape through the elevators of one building and get to the top floor, of course, you have the eldest sister, Hazuki, jumping out the window, and she's trying to get Hozuki to follow suit. And unfortunately, she drops the plates with the little goldfish designs on them, that they just bought and she falls she falls and crashes down on these like old destroyed cars and everything like that a whole pile of uh, garbage and refuse and they rush her back to the Galileo due to her severe injuries now this is where Kazuki just takes this episode by the reins and owns it the entire way through because immediately she recalls you know of course they, they are most wanted they have a warrant out for their arrest they can't take their sister to a hospital and she immediately remembers the conversation about the micro doctor so she just is running and she's remembering the flashbacks of the last couple episodes where she was calling out her sisters and saying I don't want to be here with you I don't want to be dealing with this take me home and the whole time she's running that much harder to get back to this man Herman Hans and she does and she convinces him to come and bring the micro doctor to help her sister which he's very willing to do uh, reluctant at first because he feels like you know I, I couldn't save my daughter. How can I save this girl who I only just met today? But he does. He does come back to the Galileo. Of course, as they take off, what better timing than a surgical procedure needing to be done than to have the Black Ganymede crew show up and basically have an airborne altercation uh, where they have to really test the limits of the Galileo. Now, this is, again, where you have Kazuki just taking the reins and owning it because, of course, they realize the only only person who can pilot this thing right now, as of now, is Hozuki, the one who is injured and cannot do anything. She can't function. So Kazuki runs out. She reads the manual. She realizes there's voice recognition. She calls out Grande Oso and starts issuing orders. She, she ends up piloting this thing almost expertly, even going through a transformation to a sort of attack mode, an 
assault mode and fending off the Black Enemy's attacks. Now you basically have an interruption by Hanzuki who comes in and tries to radio the Black Enemy and say, look, we're trying to save our sister's life. Let us be. And of course, the, the main Sky Pirate guy on the Black Enemy vessel doesn't at first believe it until he hears the same thing from two of his guys. Oh, the girls we were chasing, one of them fell, was very badly injured. And then he decides very honorably, I thought, very, you know, it was a nice twist to just sort of go off and, and let them be. And, you know, for now at least, give them a break and give them what they need to save Ozuki. And I thought that was just brilliant. Of course, by the end, once she has been saved and they say their farewells and thank yous to Herman Hans, they uncover the fact that he's been using as a placemat that second sketch that they've been looking for from Galileo. So... It all ends on a just brilliant upward note when, of course, they've set their destination to wherever they're headed next, and you have that great moment where Kazuki comes up and interrupts a conversation between Hazuki and Anna Hendricks, and she just barely manages to call the ship the Galileo. She cuts herself off so as not to be caught, so as not to be, uh, you know, revealed as starting to feel like this is a home of sorts. And I love that, which is only trumped by, of course, Hozuki's going in to look at all the dishes, and all the dishes that have been crashed by Kazuki in the previous episode have been glued together again, as if to say that you know, this family is coming back together as I hoped it would. And thus it was just a really beautiful ending, seeing Hozuki looking at those plates and smiling. I really did get misty eyed and was smiling. And uh, I can't wait to see how the story picks up in the next episode, what Galileo's inheritance ultimately will be, and whether or not these girls, this trio of sisters who are finally gaining that insight of hey we're a family we need to be in this together we need to stick together if they can uncover it whatever it is <laughs> for all we know that could be galileo's inheritance the love of family the love of siblings love in general love for your fellow man and and i just can't wait to see how this series wraps up and so i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of episode four of galilei donna if you've seen it that'll be it for me on this one i hope you enjoyed the video and <laughs> i'll catch you later peace